Hello and welcome to another crazy episode of the Carve Daily Podcast. Um, I'm Celebe my Fendi, you know, and it's another day where we continue to come through onto this platform and have content like and just talk about what's trending in and around south africa we know that things are crazy right now like there's so much beef and a lot of you know uneasiness you know we'll blame it on the mercury retrograde (laughs) um yeah so we appreciate you always tuning in listening to carve africa once again i'm celebrity my fatty and we'll carve africa on all social media platforms thank you so much for engaging with our content we really really appreciate it and you all know who's on the other side of this line kev magic he's the one clicking away on the other end what do you do kv what it do, well, what it do, what it do, what it do. I go by the name of Kev Kev, Kev Magic. Kev on Kevin At your presence with the awesome energy as always. Definitely. It's another episode of the Calf Daily Podcast. Mm-hmm. And yo! it's hectic and we missed your favorite day of the week how was it what were you up to my favorite day of the week wednesday Mm -hmm. okay so wednesday i woke up in the morning did my normal routine Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. you know zazzing with myself so i'm using the zazz yeah swiss Mm -hmm. beats because it everything that's good energy is zazz okay mm, so i was you know normal routine woke up because you know that i'm home you know i'm home uh my nine to five is because we, we grounded mm-hmm. so yesterday i woke up as i said my favorite day exercise meditated journaled did everything that was good for my mental you know mental health mm-hmm. research for my new business mm. uh, exciting you know, Mm, uh, I actually had my first client meeting yesterday, so yeah. yeah, that was my day yesterday. That was my day yesterday, and I feel I feel very good. I feel very good. Hey, trust yeah. me, I feel very. You, I feel your amazing. new business, as in uh, Park Six, Park Six already has clients now. There's people. There's people that have been, yeah. you know, cheering me on. People like mm-hmm. you. People that have been like, yo, when are you doing something, mm-hmm. you know, for mm-hmm. you? Because you, you know, you know a lot of things. You, I don't know a lot of things, but I'm quite informed. So, mm-hmm. this is me just, you know, taking the plunge and being out here. Hey, so, I how was you your Wednesday? Day. Talk about I see- taking the plunge. You know, um, you did a polar plunge with special olympics if you all um remember we had a conversation with melanie ramji a couple of weeks ago who came onto the platform to give us more insights about what the special olympics is about and um the the funds were raised you know it's still available you can still go onto the special olympics website and be able to partake in in in, in you know donating to helping the team um the special olympics south africa team head out to russia um, and they they will be competing, you know, and 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 taking the plunge for the country. So yeah, if you want to go check out that video, we also have a video of Gear actually doing the plunge and how that groove guide activity went down. Go onto our Instagram on our IGTV, and you'll see more content relating to that. So yeah, speaking about my Wednesday, so I went to a cool <laughs> event. Um, so you know, cool the big bean the kene, all, mm-hmm. all of that that <laughs> that brand that is over 80 years old. Um they're doing something special and they're having like a reality TV show that is going to be coming up on SABC2. And you know, they 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 call it Color Your Plate. And you know, they the specific brand got Basit and Akumalo back in the game after not presenting on television for so many years you know it's been over 15 years of Pasadena Kumala not you know presenting and we know her as an executive producer for um you know top billing a lot of lifestyle shows our perfect wedding and and all those other amazing shows that have to do with weddings and culture and all those amazing South African tapestries and she is now 
the host of of this um 13 part show that's going to be on SABC2 it kicked off yesterday on the 6th of October and we were there basically for the inaugural launch and and the first watch party of the, of the specific episode so yeah you should all check it out SABC2 on Wednesdays Basizana Kumalo doing the most and a show called Color Your Plate with Ku every wednesday at 7 30 p.m and yeah i think it's going to be an exciting one and they were basically showing us and, and talking about the nutrition of, of of you know cool products and uh and how it enriches other careers by you know they they're using the empowering females within the space as well who who actually get to come and you know be farmers and 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 help by giving certain vegetables and products to cool for them to use to create these canned items that we all know and love about the brand mm, that was pretty dope that was pretty dope right. and people are probably wondering wow wow i'm sure you shot some dope content because i saw i was like okay okay yes. we are here you better know the content is coming like we're gonna drop a reel or an igtv or something quick just to show the vibes do something cute for the groove guide um do something cute for calf crunch you know and actually start having conversations about nutrition um and 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 make sure that we get that category going and talking about food and and wellness and how you know what you put in your body is 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 key and they who found a nice way of doing a three course meal for us that showcase the products the canned items and how you can use them in in having healthy meals and they just wanted to enlighten south africans on how you can have cool products and and create beautiful healthy dishes so I'll, i'm i'm excited to seeing what you can do with a can you know we all know also, but you know you, you might just get onto that space and 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 see yourself being able to make a, a beautiful healthy enriching meal for the family that is pretty dope i'm sure you know you were said that you had to replace wakey wednesday with cool and all that but if, if it was a three course <laughs> meal a good i'm sure course. you were like yeah, mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Meal. oh no it was amazing we had bowls we had like you know it 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 it, it was out of this world it, it was a good it was a good menu and yeah shout out to cool and um the Orchard on 25 team for hooking that up there, great PR company. We appreciate the invite and yeah, they must continue to do the right thing. Ah, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. So, so how Can do you want to start get this into show? the bougie thing, like the bougie and boity thing? Like, <laughs> it's the elephant in the room. Let's not waste any time. Let's just get straight into it because, wow. Yeah, because, eh, you know. Eh. Mm-hmm. I really don't know what to say, you know, because uh, it's it's such a, a, a let me not say delicate because it's out in the open, you mm-hmm. know, everybody's is throwing whatever opinion towards it, mm-hmm. and obviously, you know, I sent you the the DM. I was like, what the hell, you know, because Buji also released his you know statement, mm-hmm. you know, stating that he. He was attacked and he had to mm. I'm on but I'm like, what the bottle? Mm. I'm on and the clip that I sent to you as well that's circulating all over social media mm. states otherwise. You know, and now Twitter is is divided between not only the Boji and Boiti situation, they also threw Somizi's name, they also mm. threw AKA's name mm. in terms of who should be cancelled. Mm. Why is so busy in AK? Be back there again. Mm. Say I can sell. Do you understand? Mm. And for me, it's it's we need to have this conversation of we not like this thing of choosing sides as well. It's 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 tricky. You know, it gets people into a whole lot of hot gray matata. Mm. You choosing sides because you know something happened. To understand but obviously everything that that points out it points out to buji being the one in the wrong because you know i it's like it hit me to understand mm. like i was so triggered you know i was so triggered and it's it, it pains me that we as 
as a people i'm gonna say black people because black people we we're the ones that are always in these crazy headlines you know we are the ones that uh the media is is attacking in terms of we the ones supposed to be fixing our own communities um our toxic nature on how we we approach things especially these type of things how we react to things and i remember an interview yabuji abua about you know his upbringing and how he is with his siblings uh and all these other things mm. but uh, guys uh that means we, we really have to you know to solve this because it's really hurting our communities mm. it's really hurting our families and we really need to to sort out all these things before the media makes makes it worse or difficult for for us to succeed mm -hmm. i don't know if i'm making sense but mm -hmm. i feel very triggered you know it's it pains me it pains me big time yeah but you know so many things there's there, there's so many questions around this like even though you're saying that you know bougie is the one in the in the wrong or in, in you know getting the most backlash because of the class situation but mm. what are we what are we saying about verbal abuse and yep. and and body shaming that you know we get to hear boyty saying you you know you're uh, making claims about his weight and mm. you know using that platform in in that moment to speak about his career and to say you know you're nothing like that that like it's, it's mental health awareness month and i think we should also just talk about the ramifications of what happens when someone speaks about you in that kind of way and how damaging that that kind of thing is you know like did he deserve to 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 have someone coming at him like that and calling him nothing and saying who are you why do people even in, invite you to events what do you do your career is not popping off your surname this is that the right place for someone if if you are a traditional healer or something to address someone and hopefully try to help them is 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 that the right space for those type of things to be said i'm not saying it's correct for him to have thrown the glass but mm. is what boiti did correct is that not also seen as a, a form of abuse definitely what she did was not correct you know and the sad thing about society and the social media world is that when they speak of abuse or define abuse they only speak of the physical side of abuse mm. do you understand mm. Hore, there's things that actually hurt more than you know the physical side of things mm. which is the verbal abuse mm. and again is there a crime can somebody press charges when somebody is verbally abusing somebody i think what makes it worse for 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 buji is that he attacked you know and physically as well mm. and no, but they what said was... it's also said that she was kicking him um and you know punching him and saying you're a man you're a man you know when she was doing that and people had to hold her off like people had to stop her from doing that and that's when he was more controlled in not retaliating but she started the physical attack and she verbally abused before he you know did that counter thing with the glass that's 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 what i'm saying Jorge. she you know you know was in her own space as well same as bougie because as bougie stated was that before that happened mm. he was actually trying to calm it down mm. and she replied Katsila and mm. then everything spiraled over mm. and then this goes back to you know these numbers that just came out as well about the number of suicides mm. you know the mental health mm. you know in the country or in the world it shows Jorge, 
more men you know are the ones committing suicide uh than women hmm. and it goes back to i don't i don't say whatever we do as men in society there is abuse and because growing up it has always been the case that we've never heard of a man being raped a man being abused because a man would be scared of you know the the the, the, crit, the criticism or people you know saying whatever about that man in that community mm. or you're not man enough you can't defend yourself against a woman yada 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 and you do get women that tell men those things like the situation at hand mm. so there's a there's a bigger picture that we need we need to look at in terms of you know some come from broken in households whereby you get um you know your your mom and dad thinking hurry hi this is the perfect picture as soon as the father dies kids come out there's other kids coming out of nowhere and all these other things mm-hmm. you understand? Mm-hmm. there's men that mm-hmm. left their that there's men that left their house households you know because they were being abused by their own wives mm-hmm. Or even you know girlfriend boyfriend relationships, mm. and I normally tell people that we need to start getting into relationships knowing that we're fully secure with ourselves. Mm. That not only financially, because fi- finances will hide your your flaws. Yes. But soon as mm. ish starts hitting the fan, mm-hmm. you know whether you have money or not. Mm-hmm. whatever that's been you know killing you inside will show up eventually that's true because if you speak about both situations definitely there's something that's still going on with boiti and there's still something that's been you know that's burning inside of buji as well mm. so oh and so i think i think we, we need to just circle back and say let's 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 deal with whatever it is that's really bothering us like you know and and let's like what you were saying I'll, I'll, about your morning routine and like just like meditating and getting your zen on and you know and 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 praying and exercising and going to therapy and you know cutting back on things that you know that are not good for you and your mental health and it, it, to me it kind of just circles back to that to say these people both had problems when they got into the space that they were in and it somehow became like a moment of outburst for both sides of you know reacting to whatever it is i don't know i could be wrong but i'm i'm saying that my take out from this is let's do more in finding and nurturing our healing elements and trying to at least do the best that we can to to stay sane for as long as we can you know yeah and everything that you've mentioned you know therapy um and also like uh, there's one thing about our parents as well like our parents um have this thing of you know trying to to whatever that that, that they experienced mm-hmm. you know and let's say for instance maybe they divorced with the dad or the dad was never in the picture mm-hmm. every time they speak of the father you know your father was useless your father was this your father was that and that stays with the child mm. you know and it's something that i've heard from other people you know because i have never experienced that but what i'm trying to say is we need to raise our kids differently especially uh, let me just say especially our generation because our generation is facing so much toxic things negative energy and we the ones that have to fix this mm. you know and that's the unfortunate part that we are placed here to fix whatever that was broken in the past mm. if your family was all over the place and you have the desire to put your family together your cousins your aunts your uncles 
whoever and try mm. to make them understand Hore, guys we need to work on our family because you guys are going to be gone i'll be mm. left with my sisters my cousins mm-hmm. and then what's going to happen to us then mm-hmm. are we going to be fighting like how you guys are fighting Ooh. or are yeah. you going to fix this whole thing just continuing with that bad cycle mm, i won and i guess maybe we should have a mental health expert you know in this space oh plaza also sent an email to mm. uh social Olympi- olympics they're having this uh social olympics or special special olympics they're having oh. this uh webinar for you know to to teach people about mental health and mm. with kids with suffering with special needs and all mm. that so mm. i'm gonna be attending that webinar mm-hmm. and you know, oh, yeah I'm, okay give us more details about the webinar let's Let's put the post mm. out, let's promote, let's get more people to be aware of that so that, you know, it, it can go with this conversation and make sure that this month we highlight as much as we can to not only mm. showcase the groove and the turn up, but to really be aware and speak on mental um, mental health awareness month to, to get the message out there. That's the whole point why these months are put out there and, you know, I mean, it's Pride Month um you know and it is cancer awareness month as well breast cancer awareness month and you know it's mental health awareness month and this next week it's going to be world uh world food day um and 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 that is really to to help the plight and we'll give more information about that as we go along the the days but mm-hmm. yeah those I'm, i just feel that l- let's be more mindful and more aware and use the platform to spread more awareness and knowledge to people about you know the actual causes that really affect us mm. so yeah guys yeah this is heavy this can is we heavy. can this we talk heavy. about less heavy stuff though can we change can we flip the script a bit yeah we, we're flipping because you wanted to speak yeah, about let's flip. we <laughs> said let's start with that you know, let's start with that and then let's now get on to like merry, merry things. Um, so shout out to Pearl Tusi, you know, with her new business venture. How amazing is that? Yeah, that she, like um, yes, she now is, she has an, an equity um, within this mm. premium gin brand that's called Black Rose Gin. And yeah, I mean, you know, literally, hey. People just be the, owning, owning, owning. They, they're they're owning. coming for everything, hey? That whole squad is too much, guys. Hey. Oh, that whole it's squad. The winning it's, circle, honestly. It's acquire, acquire equity. Mm. Oh, you want a deal? Mm. Oh, you want me to make you money? Mm. Why don't you make me money as well? Hey, I mean, twara, I mean twara, come twara, on. Twara, twara. Yo. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But all of them, like, check Nomuzi. I don't know if no, Nomuzi, I don't think she has equity in Cruise, mm-hmm. but I feel but like yeah, she's, she's affiliated the... with a really big yeah. brand. Um, mm-hmm. and, and and I think just her her weight within the brands that she's in. The other day, she put up a post. I think she was saying she's been with Casa Light for 10 years, or was it five years? Um, yeah. And just a solid, solid relationship that has never gone anywhere, which which shows you something about her personality that she she's a real one because no brand will stick with someone who's impossible to work with or whatever. You know, it just shows that she got her business on point and she understands how to keep a brand and and know how to speak to a specific audience and she's doing it really well with Casa Light. So yeah, shout out to her as well, hey. And it's it's actually you know educational mm-hmm. in terms of it's teaching us now, Hori, don't just be excited by getting a once off bag mm, with mm, this mm. brand and all that. You mm-hmm. know mm. longevity. And, mm, that's the most important thing because yeah. we, we sick and tired of seeing our celebrities yep. you know live the industry without having anything at all mm-hmm. oh, and, and that's why when you look at the music space as well there's a lot of indie artists mm-hmm. they don't just sign you know contracts with major labels they sign contracts for just for distribution they want to mm-hmm. own their masters mm-hmm. you know the publishing side of things 
for longevity like you said because mm. nyoku nyoku guys nyoku eh nyoku is speaking, the one guys. speaking of that like now that you 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 jumping into music i was so shook when i saw that nadia nakai's now mean is only going gold now like it's such an old track in my mind i'm thinking kyle i reach it the gold gabine yeah you know like i was i don't know if i was telling you mm-hmm. but you know nadia and teho when they perform they perform songs from when they were still called family tree mm-hmm. and as much as she dropped an album uh, the, the album in terms of impact yeah would not mean and raga raga mm. uh, didn't have the same impact i scratched the surface mm. it's i scratched the surface you know Tiro's album if it wasn't if it wasn't for that uh king monada uh feature mm. we would probably be you know aligning it to to nadia nakai's album as well mm. you know although they were both dope albums but the fact that what hurts me is that why don't you push the music on these albums stop playing hennessy garden wire wire every time you perform i know it's you've been running with those songs get a classic yeah you've been running with those songs for years you know it was like uh remember when kuli dropped uh the motorco originator when kuli dropped the motorco originator I feel like the, it's his fault that people are running with music for years and years and years because mm. he ran with Motoko Originator dropping videos for the album every year till he dropped Lost in Time. Mm. One. And again, before he dropped Lost in Time, he was doing the same things because that was the music that was on the album. Mm. The album was also starting to pick up, you know, during the later years or the last couple of years before he dropped his second album mm-hmm. and that him dropping his second album you know helped them to perform new music and put new music out there but Tero and Nadia have are so talented you know they make him business moves they make dope music i love Tero's album and every time he performs these songs the old songs i'm like why don't you perform the new songs on the album get ricky on stage get tabsy on stage to perform uh, you know the songs that you featured them on mm. and those songs are fire do you understand it's it's you want to get the crowd moving Move but we're the talking crowd about with... going gold we're talking about nadia Nakai's i know track, only going gold when go, we go go it's like a... yes I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Nadia yeah. Nakai struck gold. You know. Yeah, I'm just but like building. my thing is, can I have how long does it take for the to for someone to get gold? Get this stream take it or not? I know, but there's people that go gold in a week. Who cares, Babu Mangma? Yes. Do you understand? That's my thing. But That's what's shocking Nadia... me about it. I'm just like, can I be near again? I don't know. You never know. What Never does that know. mean? I mean, you know, it uh, to me it says something about like your streams. Like are people streaming your music? They might be seeing you performing, but are they listening to your music in their own accord? But you like, can also break it down this way. When it dropped, mm. yes, streaming was there, but mm. it wasn't that big. So you might think, or what if they dropped it for free? Mm. But I think it dropped on Apple first. I mm, mm. yeah dropped it for free and then apple later on and everybody had it and mm. everybody could easily access it mm. and only now it's making the numbers because it's still a hot song you know it's still a relevant song as much as it's old it's still a relevant song and maybe it was close to hitting those numbers but she has the back she's like you know what let me just pay pay 2000 people to just buy the song not saying that she did to get it to gold how one mm. but it also means hore the industry we might think the industry is doing well especially the hip hop side mm. but guess ban it's a lot of work to get to these numbers for some musicians mm-hmm. the only good thing that we can be happy about is that she's still relevant in the space Mm. She's still working on new music. She's mm. still getting the bag. I see Gen Z 
on Channel O is going for season two. I don't know if okay. they're gonna renew the contract for her to be present again for season two. Mm. So we'll wait and see on their announcement. Because obviously, if it's going for season two, that means the bag of one. So hopefully, we can get a background story to why it took so long for Nami to go gold. I wonder. So you mm. saw her the the hip hop um, the BT Hip Hop Awards. Um, Aired just the other day, and which basically showed her Cardi B and Megan The Stallion. They got Song of the Year, they got Best Hip Hop Video, and Best Collaboration. So, female rappers are doing the most. You know, I mean, they're at the top of the charts. They they're getting the best accolades in the hip hop space, and you know, I think with for me, I feel that BET is is a very strong um benchmark of success within not only the black community but the general entertainment community of the world right so to me to have them to you know having them at the top in the way that they have is 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 a big accolade to that that flips the script on female rappers like still having that female rappers thing it just shows that they just rappers like we don't need to still say say female rappers and whatever but we should highlight that and and just because it's so hard and they always talk about how hard it is for for female rappers to break into the game or to stay relevant and or to show a form of collaboration and unity etc and they did it with this track and look at the amazing you know accolades that are coming with it yeah definitely i mean for the fact that this they you know they're being recognized now mm. not saying that they haven't been but i feel like compared to your lauren hill missy elliott uh generation mm. uh compared to to the you know to the to the rappers right now mm. like there was a huge gap between that generation and the new generation mm-hmm. whereby the respect kind of fell off and all that and your Cardi B's, your Megan the Stallion, uh, Sawiri or Sawiti, mm-hmm. which is nice. I want hey. the out here. <laughs> so weedy. I want so mm-hmm. weedy. I want the out here, and they they're getting the numbers. Mm-hmm. You know, they're getting the numbers. Uh, but obviously, it's still it's still a huge. How can I say this? The hip hop, the BT hip hop awards was never also giving given that huge. Mm. recognition in, in the media space but now yeah i feel like somebody somebody who said i don't know somebody one of the presenters mentioned that you know who wouldn't want to miss this year's bt awards because no. i feel like everybody's going back so to lit. Mm, everybody's going back to 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 support black culture now because mm-hmm. the culture doesn't move without us you know what do you think of Lil baby um being called hip-hop artist of the year yeah, he deserves it. Really? He deserves it. He has done little baby. It's ukot. Ah, it's more ukot out of 10, 10, 10. But in terms of they speak of his work ethic, okay. he has done a whole lot of features this year, like a crazy lot of features. Um like he's been part of the conversation, you know, from late last year to this year. The conversation around the hip hop space you cannot speak about anybody else without mentioning a little baby. Okay. Get oh, wow. And they also mentioned here that um Nelly, he won the I am hip hop honor, you know, it, yeah. which is like a, a special um award. Basically, it's it's like that main award where you know they they wanna honor this person mm. and Nelly finally got that accolade what do yeah. you think deserving he, much nelly he was like back in those times nelly Malume was tip drill tip drill don't know about that video <laughs> hey, must be show it to your kids. don't show that video to your kids but what a, damn what, nelly hit the numbers i remember his his battle with krs1 and nelly mm. and the battle was about who's gonna sell the most and people were like you know maybe krs because he's a better rapper mm. 
Mm-hmm. Then Nelly just dropped and those numbers were crazy by a mile, by yay. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? So that was when you you started seeing that okay, hip hop is changing mm-hmm. and is impacting the culture from how it used to be gangsters trying to shoot at each other to actually making it a career. Mm-hmm. Not saying that your Tupac and Biggie didn't want to make it a career. Mm-hmm. But the definition and their whole energy around it started changing when, you know, Bonelli, Batsanamo Space, Boluda Chris, all these guys. So mm-hmm. for him to receive that award, I feel like he's worthy. He's mm-hmm. deserving. Yeah. He he has the right, he has the numbers. Mm-hmm. He shifted the culture, the conversation. Yeah. And shout out to Nelly, you mm-hmm. know. But for me, somebody who took like uh although he didn't receive any award mm. uh toby nigue you know toby nigue mm. so toby nigue is uh i can't really call him an upcoming artist because he's in the space now he's mm. nigerian obviously grew up in the states mm-hmm. and during the the lockdown last year mm. he's one of those rappers musicians artists that you know that took advantage of the the, the lockdown type of energy that was going around he became he took over mm. in terms of presence and people wanted to know who he, who's this guy mm. people blogs conversations around him so his performance at the BT awards was trending mm. you know people were talking about wow this guy and he was the 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 choir he was performing his choir and he also performed it with his wife fake nigue okay he took like he took it to another level you know I'll definitely and check that one out you, you better do because he's so talented he's so unique you know even erica badu was mm. he she, he's a huge fan of toby and people are catching up and obviously when people catch up he's there you're gone you understand yeah. so mm-hmm. shout out to toby for that one well and we're again, not surprised so, that j cole won lyricist of the year right i mean or yeah, do you think definitely. do you think there's a there's a better lyricist out there well yeah lyricist of the year you know he took he he definitely took it he killed his features he never missed when he came to his features that he never missed mm. you know if you feature j cole this year uh, you're in trouble you never missed <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, one so he deserves it because i want to see j cole winning more awards right you know i still yeah. feel like he, the grammys demo ropilika when you were the second album oh you see uh, forest hill drive something something no that's that's the third uh second album elena nali i let nas down that album you have a bone sinner yeah yes. that album was it yes. not called bone sinner yeah Kion, that's bone sinner okay. that album was so out of this world mm. um, so for him to be recognized this guy played a huge role in the last decade mm-hmm. you know him drake and kendrick yeah. like on the on the freestyle he dropped over drake's beat recently mm-hmm when they speak about the dopest rappers from last decade the last decade they speak mm-hmm. about those three so mm-hmm. jay cole you worthy you well deserving mm-hmm. and okay <laughs> <laughs> it's for, spoken from you because when you're telling jay cole he's worthy yes he, i get it like he was uh, thing is that that, that freestyle it, it was like he's trying to to remind people you mm-hmm. know okay I haven't and then it I'll also listen to it and it also states he also stated that you know he's way better okay. you understand and even drake wasn't mad that okay this guy freestyled on on my on my beat and he murdered it mm-hmm. uh, because he even drake also mentioned that when they were performing together i think mm-hmm. sometime last week at a concert that j cole you don't have to worry about anybody dude you one of the dopest rappers mm, to ever touch so the mic yeah no, you understand so get lunch bar. Um, lunch bar 
Mm-hmm. He's Jermaine, 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 guys. Jermaine. Yeah, Jermaine Cole Jermaine. is the man. Mm-hmm. No, Jermaine's too much, guys. Jermaine. Mm-hmm. Did you see Jorge Mangasati being fatty? Apparently, Kanye West has a school at home. Yes. Why not? <laughs> Kanye, guys. Ooh, you know, uh, impact, 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 a whole school impact, named after his mom. I, okay. Yes, impact is everything. Mm. You know, he's the busiest person out here. And whatever he does is to impact the culture. Mm. And the fact that he's doing things that he spoke of before when people were like, hi, this one, hi, he's mm. crazy. All of a sudden, he's not crazy. Mm. He's not crazy for building a school. He's not crazy for having three concerts for a release party. No, he didn't and build a school. Apparently, that school was already in existence. It's just that mm. he kind of like partnered with the school or something like that. And then mm. in, in part of the partnership, they agreed to change the name of the school to Donda. Do you see? So, impact is everything. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's what one thing about you know kanye is he's such a free-spirited human being Mm. and we need to get to that level of how we can be free-spirited and do things that we've always wanted to do Mm. you know doing things i think it starts with doing something that you said you were gonna do if you said you were gonna you're gonna wake up tomorrow morning at six go for a run uh pray meditate do your laundry in the morning do that you know mm. that's that's his energy currently i'm, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow mm, i want and that is very important i think that's how we we start to take control of everything that's been pulling us back you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mm. end the show and i'm gonna make food and i'm gonna eat that's that's my thing that's all i'm done updating <laughs> for today because i know you can talk for a million years and yes we know squid game is doing the most there's so much more that we have to talk about the feathers so much there's like a whole lot but we know we know we've been slacking but we'll take it in bite sizes and make sure that we bring all the content if you want to get an update on anything head out to our website that's www.carve.africa and we'll carve africa on all social media platforms subscribe engage do the right thing and yeah so you know there's as 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 chang lee said there's a lot of things we need to speak Yo, of a lot. adele dropping as well Yo. so please don't don't just break up your relationships just because of Adele, you want to feel Adele's music. Mm-mm. Now, don't do that. You don't know, Adele's that. dropping. A little Nas just dropped as well. So, mm. guys, let's have fun. Listen yeah, to no. dope music. That's for uh, sure. The Cove. I need to curate the Cove playlist. But anyways, we we'll get again, to that. We need we'll to. Oh to my that. gosh, yo, mm. we need some. We need that. That is so important, guys. That's our next thing. Like, wait for it. We're coming through with that soon thank you so much for tuning in and don't do anything i wouldn't do okay yes we are already love and light good night